Although small, Broadway Lake provides a lot of recreational opportunities for the people of Anderson County. Built in the late 1930s as one of the projects of President Roosevelt's WPA, the lake opened to the public on June 16, 1940. Shortly afterwards, people began buying lots and building cabins along the shore. I had a cabin when I was about six years old, and it was very different from now. There was no running water, we had no bathroom, we had outhouses up the hill. Uh, we had a one-room cabin and built a sleeping porch around it. But we had a lot of fun growing up down there. We'd go out there in the summer. We didn't live there full time. So we'd go out in the summer to a cabin my dad had built, which right after the lake was built. I learned how to walk in that cabin. And I walked when I was nine months old. So that's 75 years ago. <laughs> Work on Hawk Lake was not finished until about 1963. So for about 23 years, Broadway Lake was the lake in this area. It was the center of, of boating and water sports and fishing and, and all those kinds of fun things. Annual ski shows in the 1950s and 1960s were memorable occasions. The Anderson Ski Bugs would put on these exciting water ski shows. And probably the highlight of the show was, was a person named Gene Bobo when he would go over a ramp, which we call it a ski jump. But he was fearless and daring. And he would cut hard at that ramp. He'd swing way over on the opposite side of the wake, and the jump would be over here, and he would come, he would cut hard to make, gain maximum acceleration. He'd hit that jump and just explode off the top of it on his Cypress Gardens Ramp Master skis. And the crowd would just gasp because sometimes he would have these spectacular wipeout crashes. Sometimes he, he'd pull out of them, sometimes he wouldn't. You never knew. And then the, uh, the pyramids were a lot of fun. I don't know if you've ever seen a pyramid before, but you'd have maybe 10, 12, 14 skiers that would get up behind a boat at one time. And some of the skiers would drop their skis and climb up on the shoulders of other skiers and you'd end up having three levels of skiers and in the shape of a pyramid. It was a really spectacular thing. Oh, we joined the Anderson Ski Bugs, I think, in 1966. And we were just skiers. And I think I was maybe president of it for, for a couple of times. Little known to most people, boat races were held on Broadway Lake in the 1950s. Actually, there was four classes. The A class and B class of Van Hyde planes and the utility boats. And the utility boat was built a little different to comprehend speed on water. But we were right on the water, you know, down low. And the, the boat that uh, we were driving was actually never hardly ever ever touched. It would touch the water occasionally. Basically, the engine is driving it, it is so fast. The uh, B classes would run somewhere to 65 to 70 miles an hour, and uh, the A classes would run 50 to 55 miles. Anglers have always been able to pull in bass, catfish, crappie, and broom. Another favorite activity on Broadway Lake is canoeing. We were essentially looking for water that didn't freeze in the winter. So we came down here based on what we saw on the map, which was, of course, Joe Cassie and Keeley the big lakes. We didn't know that Broadway Lake was here, but we were very, very happy when we discovered it because it is the perfect venue for canoes. It's quiet, serene, lots of wildlife, and very canoe friendly. In the 1960s, to improve the lake, an association of concerned citizens was formed. The goal was to make the lake the best it could be for all to enjoy. And my parents were very active in that, and sometimes we'd meet at Falls Landing, and sometimes we'd meet at the clubhouse at Pine Lake Golf Course. One of the big initiatives that came out of that group was the dredge of Broadway Lake. And Broadway Lake has two main creeks that, that feed it, or Broadway Creek on one end and Neal's Creek on the other. And over the course of time, a lot of silt had come in those ends and started to fill up the ends of the lake. And uh, the Broadway Lake Improvement Service Society, BLESS, 
really got together and focused their effort on having Broadway Lake dredged. And my, my father went to Washington with, with some others from, from Bless to meet with some of our representatives in Washington. And eventually Broadway Lake was dredged. And that really, that really saved the lake because it was the, the, the silt was becoming an issue. It was causing seaweed to, to grow, on the, or kind of an aquatic weed, I should say, to grow. All that was dealt with successfully. And Bliss was the spearhead uh, organization. Dredging began in 1984, conducted by Cooper Sand. In 2005, Bliss was reorganized into the Friends of Broadway Lake. It's just been renamed and, it's, and kind of sort of reinvigorated. It's called the Friends of Broadway Lake. And it's very active today, and it's a, it's a community service organization. Well, we started initially with litter pickups because there was quite a bit of litter in the lake itself and on the roads. So we started cleaning that up and got a bunch of neighbors involved in that. And we had the privilege of meeting our county council district woman, and she encouraged us to start a community organization. So with her tutelage, we got a bunch of people together and started Friends of Broadway Lake. And we just settled, uh, celebrated the 10th anniversary of that organization. Friends of Broadway Lake sponsors a family day and they get the Carolina uh, Show Club, a uh, water ski club, uh, to come in and give these wonderful ski shows. So you can still go to Broadway Lake, still enjoy a ski show and uh, have some memories of your own day to look forward to. Broadway Lake belongs to everyone, so come on down and enjoy all the lake has to offer.